Nick Coit, Ian Steele with you. Uh, we actually moved upstairs from where we were at 4 o'clock on the floor because they're uh, setting things up for the NBA opener here tomorrow night. The Celtics and the Knicks will play here, and we will have that covered for you. But before we get to that, of course, it was a very busy day with Big East Media Day. A lot to talk about here. One of those local ties is Cumberland Kolick. Tyler Kolick named the preseason Big East Player of the Year, chosen to defend his title from last year's postseason, named the Big East Player of the Year after the regular season. Every time Tyler Kolick comes here for Big East Media Day, he stirs up some headlines. Remember last year, he disagreed with where his Marquette Golden Eagles were picked in the preseason poll. He chose an expletive to describe how he felt about those who voted Marquette in the middle of the pack. Now they're picked to win the league in the preseason poll. And again, Kolick, the preseason league player of the year. Burst onto the national scene as the best point guard in the country last year. That kid from Cumberland High School who played at George Mason and then, again, went to Marquette last year and became one of the best players in the country. We spoke with him here at Big East Media Day today. All right, here with the Big East preseason player of the year and the reigning player of the year, of course, Tyler Kolick, Marquette. Sure, it's a tremendous honor to be preseason player of the year again after what you did last year. Yeah, um, I mean, it just goes to show a lot of eyes are going to be on you, a lot of targets are going to be on your back. Uh, so just kind of weathering the storm and trying to go out each and every night, uh, playing to the standard. A little different walking around here in uh, Big East Media Day this year. Last year, of course, you were picked where you were picked. A little bit different, knowing that you're the preseason favorite. Last year, we walked in feeling, ah, who... We looked around like people were looking at us, who, who are these guys? Uh, are they even supposed to be here? And, you know, this year it's kind of, you know, walking with your chin up, walking with your chest out and just knowing who you are now. How do you feel you can build off of that? What can you do better this year and improve on? Yeah, we can do a lot of things better. Uh, you know, we, we want to be the best offense in the country. We want to improve on defense. Personally, I just want to improve as a leader. Uh, I want to improve, you know, giving encouragement to my guys, uh, making them feel secure and safe. Uh, and, you know, we want to win a national championship, so, and we didn't do that last year. Walking in MSG like this, does it sort of give you that feel like, hey, basketball season's really, really close? It goes by fast. You, you know, this, this season finishes March, April. Um, next thing you know, it's, it's October, November. You're already back into practice. So these four years, it's been a blast. It's gone by too fast, and, you know, I'm just trying to slow down the time and cherish every moment. How excited are you to step on the floor against all these teams, all these great players? Big East is loaded. Big East is the best it's been in a while. Um, and, you know, we were at the top of it last year, and we're looking to do the same thing this year. Congratulations on being preseason player of the year. Good to talk to you as always, buddy. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you to Tyler for the time today. Now, when we're here at Media Day, People are loose. You know, mm -hmm. you tell some stories and whatnot. And we actually learned something about Tyler from new Providence coach Kim English. English tried to keep Tyler in the George Mason program before he transferred to Marquette by playing him in one-on-one -on -one when he took over the program. English says he won in best two out of three, but Tyler pushed it to a five-game series. Kolick ended up winning. English ran out of gas. And the rest is history. He's at Marquette now. So we learned that today. Yeah, that competitive spirit and that attitude that he brought last year, still with him despite all the accolades that he's gotten. He There's a photo circling on social media right now of him showing the world where Marquette was picked in the preseason poll. Number one, mm -hmm. except with the attitude that he brings, he's... Uh, not using his pointer finger <laughs> in the photo. We can't show it on TV, yep. but be sure to check it out on social media if you're interested in that kind of thing. Cumberland Kolick doing big things. Preseason Big East Player of the Year. We love that edge from Cumberland's Tyler Kolick. Okay, coming up at 6 o'clock, we will speak with Bryce Hopkins from Providence, who was named preseason all Big East first team. We will speak with Georgetown head coach Ed Cooley, UConn head coach Dan Hurley, and the PC women as well. A lot more to get to coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live at Madison Square Garden in New York City. I'm Nick Coyd. He's and still back to you in Providence.